Hi guys. Um, I wanted to check in with you on video just so you could see me and uh, so that you could uh, kind of connect, that we could reconnect. I wanted to say first that I really miss each of you. It's been a it's been a really difficult and long, tiring week to be sure, but this whole time I have been thinking I sure do miss my students. Um, you guys mean a lot to me, and I really, really miss you. So I'm looking forward to getting home. Uh, I should be home on Sunday, and so next week I'll be back, and everything will be back to, to normal. Okay, so you just have to make it through one more day after today. I have some good news. Um, first, let's do some praise. I have been getting reports from the subs that you have all been behaving extremely well. And that means a lot to me. It really does. I specifically want to give a shout out to fourth period. I heard that there was some mix up there with the sub and you folks had to uh, basically uh, self-manage for a few minutes. And I heard that, that you did that very quietly and respectfully. You didn't take advantage of the situation. That shows maturity. And I'm proud of you. I will make sure that that act, action on, that you showed, that maturity, is rewarded. Um, I've also got some, some big news, some good news, folks. You know, I don't know if everyone remembers, but I uh, had, I took all the star tests that uh, they've issued over the past few years. And I, uh, some of the kids from the sophomore class that were in, my, in your class last year helped me cut out all the questions and then reorganize the questions by learning standard. Okay, so grouping questions by learning standard. And um, this resulted in a 92-page book, kind of a book that is organized by learning standard. And it's an amazing tool. The kids last year loved it because it shows you each skill that you'll need for the star test and then it takes you through each question that's been asked so instead of practicing questions that are similar to what you'll see on the star test you'll be practicing actual star test questions so your time won't be wasted that's kind of the idea those books arrive tomorrow so they will get there to the high school before I do. And so I'll pick those books up and and prepare to start teaching you that material next week. Now, uh, today, Thursday, you have a, a I, I try to give you a break from just crunching numbers. It's boring, I know. So I put up an assignment for you to actually type, you know, type a an essay or a short essay anyway about here's the prompt how is mathematics used in the career that you want to do for example if you want to be a hairstylist you might think no there's no purpose in learning this math i'll never use it but uh i was talking to uh, my sister, and she said that she had to use math as a hairstylist in order to mix the chemicals to treat and color hair. And and that math was used all the time. Um, I have another sister who helps people with their tax returns. And she said she hated algebra in high school. Hated is the word she used. <laughs> and she said she had to retake it, you know. Kind of like me. I had to retake it. 
And she said, man, she hated it. She thought she'd never use it. But now she uses math every single day uh, to earn her living as a bookkeeper, an accountant, a tax preparer person. So the moral of the story is uh, math is used in almost every career in one way or another. So what I want you to do is go on Google, and this is the fun part, and just search up careers that you're interested in, okay? Like veterinarian. And type something like, how is math used in veterinarian? Okay, how do veterinarians use math? And, and I bet, I bet you a buffalo nickel that there is a Google search result with, uh, with something, something that tells you about that. And so what I want you to do is research the careers that you want to do. It's your choice. You get to pick. And find out how math is used in those careers. And then go type up on that question I posted to Google Classroom, a 100 to 250 word uh, response. Okay? It's like a little tiny essay. Use complete sentences. Try to write very clearly. And please be aware that your comments are public. So don't post anything super personal in those comments that you make on that question. And once you're done submitting your mini essay, please go and find two, at least two, of your fellow classmates and look at their responses to that same question. And then I want you to reply to their post. Okay. And when you reply, you can't just say cool or cool. I like it or thanks or great post. It, I want you to type out at least two complete sentences such as, you know, blank. That's the name. I really think your career choice is interesting. I didn't realize that math could be used in being a pilot or whatever, okay? Whatever the person typed. So go ahead and get that done. This is supposed to be kind of a, a fun and easy day. I posted a couple of videos for you to watch on Google Classroom about this, including one about sonar, the, uh, the pinging thing that dolphins do. Um, but this is sonar as a career option aboard a nuclear submarine in the Arctic Ocean. Um, this is from the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day. Some of you have probably uh, heard of this channel or you watch it. So go ahead and watch that video. It's, it's funny. The, uh, the sonar operator says, I want to thank my, I want to do a shout out on this video to my geometry teacher in high school. He says, uh, I hated geometry and I told the teacher I'm never going to use this. And now I use advanced geometry every single day as a sonar operator. So this math that we're learning, I know I felt the same way. I mean, that's why I failed it, you know, three times because I, I didn't think it was, I didn't have any interest in learning in algebra because I couldn't see where it applied to anything I wanted to do with my life. But guys, look at me, you know, as an example, um, I'm an algebra teacher. So uh, I never imagined I'd be using math every day. But in a way, think about it this way, teaching algebra means that I earn my whole living by doing math. A class I hated in high school and wasn't any good at. So just stay motivated and have fun with this assignment. And just know that I'm proud of you. And keep showing these subs that really good behavior. And stay safe and have fun. And I will see you next week. Okay, bye.